Hello and welcome to another Daddy James Films computer tutorial. <laughs> uh oh, you got the blue screen of death. Well, <clears throat> if you restart Windows and it tries to start up, but you get this blue screen of death come up all the time, uh, and Windows won't start. That pretty much means that Windows has crashed on you, and you have like a major error. You can go to another computer and you can look up the code right here and try to figure out how to fix it. Well, you can do that, but truth is, it might be a little too te technical for you to be able to fix it. But my advice, if you have this problem, the best thing to do is just go ahead and format your drive and reinstall, reinstall Windows on there. Now you're thinking, okay, well, what about my files? Okay, I'm going to give you some tips that normally works uh, to retrieve files. Uh, I've only had a couple of times it didn't work, and I couldn't re retrieve anybody's files. Uh, but they're pretty much easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, my first tip is you need to go ahead and enter your computer into safe mode. Now I'm using a, a Dell splash screen a, as an example. Now you, you're going to see a Dell screen or whatever uh, computer you have. You have the splash screen to come up first and right after this goes off, start tapping uh, F8 on your keyboard. Just keep on doing it until your computer beeps or something. Okay, and once you do that, uh, you come up with the uh, advanced booting option screen here and uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and try to go in safe mode and then uh, once you're in there your your computer should uh, boot up in safe mode and then you should be able to back up your files that way um, but for some reason that you try to go in safe mode and it won't you it won't let you go in safe mode uh, you know it windows has crashed that bad and it won't let you in there so if that happens, I'm going to show you another way to be able to recover your files. Now the trick that I use to be able to recover files from Windows and stuff is go ahead and get a Ubuntu install uh, CD. Now with Ubuntu, you don't have to install it on the computer. All you have to do is just use the uh, try option on the Ubuntu Live CD. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. First thing that you need to do is go ahead and get Ubuntu ISO file and all you have to do is type in Ubuntu then you can go to their page or you can just click on download and it'll take you to the download page and all you have to do is pick which version uh, uh, that you want uh, either a 32-bit or a 64-bit now if you had Windows that was a 64-bit Windows well you want to go ahead and get to 64-bit uh, <clears throat> and then another program that you're going to need is uh, if you don't have Nero or already on your computer well Nero um, Ultimate or something like that, I think. Um, then you don't need this program. But if you uh, if you don't have Nero, then you're going to need this program. It's called ISO Recorder. And you just download which version you, that you're going to need here. Okay. Now, if you want to know more about how to uh, use this program, just go to my channel and look. Uh, well, actually, I have the link down in, here in the description. Uh, you just uh, watch the uh, how to. Uh, install Ubuntu 10.04 uh, 10 and uh, it will show you how to install Ubuntu and stuff like that. Well, it will basically show you how to use the ISO recorder to be able to burn Ubuntu to a disk. Uh, trust me, it's simple and easy. One, basically, all you have to do is install this, uh, install this program, and then once this right here is finished downloading, well, basically all you have to do is, once it's finished downloading, just double click on it and then uh, the ISO recorder program will come up and you just uh, pretty much you know have a blank CD uh, in there or DVD or something like that and uh, you sh or a burner to disk. It's real simple and easy. It's not too hard to do. Okay now once you uh, once you made a CD and you put it in your computer and stuff and you go ahead and restart your computer. Uh, well make sure you make the CD in a good computer because you're not ever You'll need another computer to make that CD and stuff unless you already have it. But anyhow, you put it in the computer that uh, has the crash windows in it. And um, you go ahead and start the computer up. Now, once you start the computer up, um, you're going to get like a splash screen. Now, depending on what computer you have, um, you won't know, you know, which, uh, which F key that you need to press. But normally they're like F2 and F12 or something like that. Uh, if you're not sure, you know, when a splash screen comes up, wait for the buttons right here to come up and then just hit pause break on your keyboard and it'll pause it so that you can figure out which one you want to go to. 
Now, if it has a boot menu on here, just click on that, or it'll take you to a boot menu, which is pretty much simple to do. You just go down to the, uh, just go down to the uh, uh, CD drive uh, for it to boot from the CD drive. Now, um, if it don't have a boot menu, you can take it into the CMOS settings. Now, this right here is just an example of a CMOS settings. Yours might not look like that. It just depends on um, what computer you're on, you know, because uh, not all CMOS settings are the same. Uh, this is only a picture right here. I'm not actually in the CMOS settings. Basically, you just got to find out how to change the default boot in here. And you can figure it out. It's not too hard. Just, you know, check some of them in there. And you just got to uh, just have it to... Uh, default boot to your CD drive and not your hard drive. If you have a problem with it, just look up your manufacturers and how to change it. Just do a Google search on how to change it. Okay, once you do that, uh, your Ubuntu shall automatically start booting up. Uh, you'll come right, uh, first you'll see select a language. You just go ahead and select the language. And then uh, what you, you'll get this screen right here. Uh, and it'll say have install Ubuntu and some other stuff here. Uh, go ahead and click on the one that says try Ubuntu to change uh, and it won't, without changing your computer. Uh, if you click that, don't worry, it's not going to install it or anything. It's just going to run off the CD. Okay, you selected this option. It's going to take a little while for it to uh, boot up. Uh, it does take a little while because it's running off the CD and not your hard drive. <clears throat> okay, once you've got uh, Ubuntu installed, on it. well not installed but you're running off the live CD all you have to do is go to places now once you go to places you're going to see all your hard drives if you have more than one it's going to show them all here but you basically want to go to the one that has whatever gigabyte hard drive you have and then or have file system on there okay once you, do, you just go ahead and click on that now once you click on that uh, all you have to do is go over here where it says users and once you do that you can go ahead and click on whatever the name of your computer is um, like I said, your computer is family, just click on family. Or if your computer is Nick, or whatever it is. When you do that, you should see all the files that you need here. Uh, like right here, you see pictures. Have all your pictures here. And of course, your music, to get your music. And uh, you should have like documents. And, uh, you know, your desktop, downloads, whatever is on your desktop, whatever is in your downloads, folders, uh, games, and, you know, such and such and such. Um, also, you need to have a thumb drive. You need to go ahead and have that in your computer as well. Uh, so that uh, you can transfer all the uh, files over to your uh, thumb drive. You just pretty much click and drag it over there. That's all you have to do. Okay, now I'm also going also going to uh, link a video from Tinkernet.com, and I'll have that down here in the description as well. Uh, basically, he has a video, and it's a pretty good one, on how to restore deleted files. Uh, these are a couple more options on how to recover deleted files and stuff, uh, and restore them. The only thing bad about this is that sometimes the files might be missing some data and stuff like that. Uh, so my method is actually one of the best ways to do it. Uh, but if you've already formatted uh, your hard drive and everything. Tickernet's options are probably the best way that you need to take. But I'll have that uh, video link in the description. Well, there you go. Um, like I said before, my way is the best way of doing it uh, to where you won't get no data loss. If uh, if you've already formatted your hard drive and stuff like that, then you might want to try Tickernet's options. Uh, but unfortunately, those options, uh, you have some data loss and, so, and stuff. And sometimes, file, like video files and stuff like that, won't play, uh, play very good. Oh, and also, if for some reason using a live uh, CD uh, with Ubuntu doesn't work, uh, just go ahead and install it. Uh, and it will give you an option of doing dual booting to where you can still have Windows and Ubuntu both together. And you should still be able to get into your Windows files. But anyhow, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.